de la sociedad civil millones Hello, good evening, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Friday's class. We're about to finish. So uh, I know that you're kind of tired, so we're going to start. You should be really excited and happy because after this class, we have just Monday and Tuesday, and then we are free. Right, Andreita? Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Ya no quiere volver a vernos, ¿verdad? No, I'm going to miss you. Lo voy a extrañar. I'm going to be crying in December because of you. But, but... I don't know. Yes, yes, you know. No, but maybe in January we can see again. Así no se aburren de mí. I hope you don't get bored. So, Andrita, tell point. me. Ajá, ajá. Okay, Andrita, how was your Friday? Friday. Um... Normal Friday. Normal Friday. Yes. A little relaxed. Okay. Uh, Andre, it's a question. Since today uh, is the beginning of the Black Friday, it's supposed, right? So yes. in, in, in your workplace, is it more crowded? Está más lleno? It's like full mm. or normal? No. Normal. Because uh, it's more... Is is más quizás los electrodomésticos? Yes, it's about electronic and furniture, maybe another types of uh, another types of products, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Your products are, but are you going to have offers? 
Yes, of course. I'm not asking because of me. I'm asking because of <laughs> others, maybe they are interested. Okay, but you're going to have offers. Eh, un poquito más, quizás un poquito más, más de lo normal. Le rebajan okay. un poquito más de lo normal. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Andreita. Elsa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Okay. Hello, okay. how was your Friday? Nice, perfect, terrible. It's normal, <laughs> very, very busy, but it's okay. Okay, very busy, but okay. Sometimes it is good that we have busy days, so the time pass, passes by very fast, right? Okay, yes, good. Is, but, um, the end is cycle. Ah, oh, yeah, good. you're going to finish. And there are some uh, work paper, papeleo work, processes, documents, well, a lot of things, uh, grades, las notas, and the platforms. Reclamos. Sorry? Reclamos. Ah, claims. claims. Yeah. Very claims. Yeah, there are a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Normal. Yeah, it is normal <laughs> for you at this time, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Elsa. Very nice. Hey, Manuel, good evening. Good evening. How was your Friday? Good? Uh, hard Friday, busy. Hard Friday, busy Friday. So you need, you, you need like a prize, but it's a common premium, right? Because it was a hard Friday. Como cual? I don't know, maybe a, a dessert, un postre, maybe coffee, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Thank you. Okay, Manuel. And here we, <laughs> we have Charlie. Good evening. Good hey, evening, Charlie. teacher. Good evening, everyone. Okay. How was your day, my friend? Good. Yeah, it was very, it was very busy, busy, but mm -hmm. I managed uh, to get out with all the tracks. Okay. Nice, nice. So here we are also Mercy. Good evening, Mercy. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> okay, everything okay, Mercy? Yes. Okay, so hello everyone. Again, uh, remember that today, uh, well, after this class, we're having two, two more classes. So that's good because you're going to have vacations at night. I know that you're going to work, you're going to continue working, but Escuchen, continue working. Es un gerundio, working, okay? So, um, but, but, however, uh, or nevertheless, you're going to have free time at night to spend time with your family, uh, to do some other things, to watch TV, to sleep. Yep, you always take advantage of the time. So, uh, let me uh, tell you that this is the class number 18, and the topic is, oh, creo que me quedé congelado. Okay, yeah, no, I guess we are okay now. So this is the class number 18. How to use gerunds. We're going to have a feedback. Vamos a tener retroalimentación de cómo usar los gerundios. This is the class number 18. So we're going to start. Are you afraid of insects or animals? There are some <laughs> people, yeah, there are some people that they can stand, they can stand uh, cockroaches, they can't stand snakes. They can't stand, no soportan. They can't stand mice. Spiders. Spiders. Yes, that, that there are, well, that depends. Depends on people's personality, okay? So what about Dianita? Good evening, Dianita. Good evening, teacher. Um, okay, Dianita, relax, okay? In my case, um, the rat. Rats, okay, you don't like rats, okay. No. Uh, imagine that in China, they eat rats. Yes. Rats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but anyway, okay, thank you, Danita. What about Maritza, good evening. Good evening. Hello, so tell me, are you afraid of insects, animals? <clears throat> yes, i afraid of snakes. Snakes, yes, Say, snakes are not so friendly sometimes, okay? So, uh, Maritza, uh, have you ever seen a snake at home or in another place? Not in the yes. zoo. Yes. 
No? Yes, in my house when I live it in in the no sé, es el campo, in the field, field in the countryside. Field. Yes. Okay. Yes, that usually happens, okay? So we have to be careful because some of them are friendly and some of them are really poisonous, some venenosos. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, what about if we listen to Mercy? So in your case, afraid of insects, animals. Yes, teacher. Can you stay in snake? Snakes as snake. well, snake. snakes, okay. Okay, I don't like snakes either, but once I had the opportunity to touch a snake, but it was a pet friend. Era la mascota de un amigo. So that snake was uh, really friendly, really calm, but I had to fight with my fears. Tuve que pelear con mis miedos. Uh, it, it's not so good. Se siente así como, uh, I don't know. It, it feels like strange, really strange. Elsa, what about you? Afraid of insects or animals? Yes, teacher, I can stand uh, the rats. Rats, yeah, nobody rats. likes rats. No, well, I don't know if uh, does anybody like it, but no, nobody. Okay, and Elsa, when do you see some rats or or and or a mouse? Do you shout, greet us, or what do you do? Cry, start running. No, I am in panic. I in panic. In shock, like okay. Yes, yes, I. I know support. Ah, uh, uh, yes, I can't stand that you you don't, you don't support that, that 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 emotion. Okay, that's a negative emotion, of course. So, uh, what about Manuel? Yeah. Hmm? The the snake. Snakes as well. Okay, but in your work, you see some snakes, right? What? In your work, you ah. see some snakes, right? You told me the last time. Yeah. Okay. Varias. Yes, I love. Yeah, I can't imagine. Can't imagine. Thanks, Manuel. Andreita, what about you? I can't stand uh, spiders. Okay, no spiders. Okay. No. Have you ever killed a spider or no? No, the teacher. Have you ever killed? Uh, uh, yes, but with difficulties, right? Like very nervous. Mm -hmm. Yes, me, uh, sometimes I call my my my, dad? my father to kill to but, kill the spider. Uh -huh. yes, 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 I know that happens here uh, when we are uh, like here uh, we are called no jaman to kill some 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 insects or or some animal that happens. Okay. Thank you. What about Karit? No, Eden Nilsson. Eden Nilsson, I guess uh, he's ready, right, Ede? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hel Hello, my friend. So we're talking about uh, insects or animals. Are you afraid of any? Uh, that I remember, no, but I touch uh, white uh, rats. Oh, really? Um, but yes. were they pets? Eran mascotas? Or not? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. They are different. Uh, yes. Very friendly. And snakes, too. Mm -hmm. but did, you, did, you choke? They, did you touch the snakes? Yes, yes. But the unique animal that I don't touch y no lo haría tampoco. Never. No, eh, de las tarántulas. Ok. De las otras las puedo ver y todo, puedo estar la par de ellas y tranquilo, pero las tarántulas sí. They are bigger, right? They are yes. bigger, son más grandes. And even they have like hair, tiene como cabello, tiene pelitos. Yes. yes. That they are really scary. Sí, sí, da, da un miedito eso. <laughs> ok, nice. What about if we we'll listen now to uh, Kevin? Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay, are you afraid of insects or animals? What is afraid? Como, como panic. Miedo. Or... Si tienes miedo. Yes, panic. Uh, if you're a fear. Mm -hmm. 
No, teacher, I don't have a prayer. Okay, that's good. You're really brave. Thank you, Kevin. Carmencita, hello. Well, I think maybe she's on her way. Are you moving? Creo que sí, teacher. Yes, teacher, I'm going to Hawaii. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for telling me. If you can participate later, you can tell me, okay? You can text me, okay? Carmencita. Because the uh, sign up, okay, por la señal. Teacher, uh, the... Okay, teacher. I know, I know. But thank you for being here, Carmencita. Uh, what about um, Beatriz? Hello. Okay, if, mm, if we don't have Beatriz, Helen, hello there. Well, maybe she's going to be connected in a moment. And Carito. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. And Carito, are you afraid of insects or animals? Uh, yes. Uh, in insects. Insects. You don't like in insects. Ah, uh, yeah. ¿Cómo se dice la cucaracha voladora? Cucaracha. Yes, cucaracha. Well, most of the cucaraches can fly, flying cockroaches. Yes. yes. And that is really disgusting, of bad. When you are, you are uh, getting close, te vas acercando, silent, and you're going to kill, <laughs> but then the cockroaches start flying. Yes. Uh, entonces, yes, it's like, ese momento es, ese momento es. Ese momento es el crítico. <laughs> sí, sí. Ajá. Entonces, los grititos, los grititos son la clave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Definitely, yes. Claudia, good evening. Claudia Diaz. Good evening, teacher. Okay, are you afraid of insects, Claudia? Um, animals. animals. Uh, which one? Hmm? Uh, uh, ratas. Rats, yes, rats. Yes. Rats are bigger than mice. ¿Verdad? Las ratas son más grandes que, que los ratones. So that's why. Sí. We don't like it. Okay. And Jasmine, good evening. Good evening. Okay, so uh, what about you? Are you afraid um, of insects or animals? Yes. Uh, a cockroaches? Yes, cockroaches. Cockroaches oh, yeah. are really yeah. disgusting. Uh, Nobody likes them. Uh, Nadie le gusta. Nadie. Solo de pensarlo. Yes, oh, definitely. And Damari, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, we're talking about insects or animals. Are you afraid of? Yes. Which one? Mouse. <laughs> ah, okay, the mice. Okay. Yeah. Yes, this is a plural. Mouse and ratón. You don't mice. like. You don't like mice. Okay. Well. I don't like the chair because me. Eh, andan por todos lados destruyendo. Yes, everywhere, everywhere. Yes. And what about the baby mice? Oh, I know. <laughs> yes, it's chiquititos así, eh, los bebés cuando nacen. Son, eh, son puros bebés. <laughs> por eso, adoptar. Go for adoption. Mi hermano los pone en una cosa caliente que se mueran. <laughs> no, pobrecito, tampoco. Okay. So, uh, le, yes, that, that usually happens with some people. And there are uh, some that is called, uh, let's see, sorry, opossum, yes, opossum is taquasin, sariwaya. There are some animals that they're very slow, son lentos. They are, uh, just give me, give me a second. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, thank you for waiting. So, uh, taquasines are like opossum. And they are really ugly, but they are necessary because they eat snakes and they eat, they're part of the environment of the ecosystem. 
So they are necessary. Even they are, uh, they are like ugly, aunque sean feas, pero son necesarias para el ecosistema. So. Uh, hay, al hay algunos que se vuelven alcaldes. <laughs> yes, some of them get in a higher position. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, good. Talking about opossums or tacuacines. Tacuacho. Okay, hi, tacuacho. I have heard that there are some white opossums, white tacuacines, that you can eat them because they, uh, the tacuacines, eat chicken, right? They eat chicken and they eat like fruits. So it is not a dirty animal. No es un animal sucio. Okay. So there are, I have heard. So, well, some of my friends have said that they have eaten tacuacin. Que ellos han comido tacuacin. I don't know if you have heard that. In Ahuachapan, it's very common. It's very common. And because we have seen a, like dark tacuacin. Como hemos visto como un... un but there are some other that are uh, white colors. So they say that those are the, the ones that you can eat. People say, I don't know. And I, I wouldn't like it. No me gustaría probarlo. Definitely, I wouldn't. But uh, they say that it tastes. Sabe cuando decimos tastes. It, eso sabe. It like chicken. It tastes like chicken. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Uh, even, uh, for example, uh, deer, venado, uh, we have dog, there are different types of meat. Okay, uh, so here we have uh, useful phrases, okay? Good at, uh, I'm sure that you are good at something. You are good at speaking English, you are I'm good sorry, at- I'm sorry, teacher, se me cayó. Problem. Tamari is good at dancing, reggaeton. Uh, some of you are good at swimming. Entonces, cuando dicen good at, aquí vamos a utilizar un gerund. Gerund es que llevan ing. I'm good at speaking English. I'm good at dancing. I'm good at playing guitar. Okay, some examples. Grateful to. Agradecido con el de arriba, okay? So, uh, here we have some of this, like, um, braces. Uh, we have, this is the, the third day. Este es como el tercer día que, pues, estamos viendo um, que este tipo de frases útiles, ¿ok? Eh, hooked, cuando decimos hooked es cuando ustedes están como, pues, eh, co como enganchados, como que está ligado a algo, que algo, por ejemplo, I'm hooked on Netflix series, ¿verdad? Como que está atrapado, ¿verdad? Como con la serie de, de, ¿qué? de Netflix. Hook, solo la palabra hook es eh, garfio o gancho. Por eso, the enemy of Peter Pan is eh, like the pirate cook. Hook, es verdad, el, el pirata, ¿verdad? Garfio, hook. Entonces, es como un gancho, ¿ok? Identical to, for example, people say, oh, Andrea, you're identical to your, to, to your dad or identical to your mom. Sometimes we are uh, similar to. So, impressed with, okay? You can impress your boss, impress your family, impress uh, your couple. Jealous of, celoso de. Mm. You have to take notes of this. Jealous of, celoso de que. Okay? Anterrea, Jasmine, tranquila. Kind to, verdad? It's kind to, es como un tipo de ¿verdad? Incluso kind significa tipo, significa tipo y también significa amable. It has two, two definitions, kind two. Okay, so here we have some others that you can use it even uh, it, it uh, look like uh, maybe you're not going to use it, but yes, believe it, uh, you can use it anytime. Keen on, es como entusiasta, entusiasta, estar entusiasmado en algo, entusiasta, okay. Mad, mad about is when you are like angry, okay? But uh, you're angry, you're like this, but mad is sometimes you're reacting different ways. Cuando están mad es porque ustedes reaccionan de otra manera, porque ustedes pueden estar, you can be angry and be in silence. But when you say mad, you act. Cuando ustedes es, es, están mad, es que están enojados y actúan también, okay? So that's like uh, different. 
married to, casado o casada, ¿verdad? No decimos I'm married with, decimos I'm, mar I'm married to, ¿verdad? Estoy como casado, no, no decimos con, with, sino que to. Opposed to, opuesto a, ¿ok? Eh, patient to, ¿verdad? Como un, eh, tener paciencia hacia ciertas cosas. Please, with, please. Eh, significa por favor, but in this case is complacido. I'm pleased, I'm pleased with my, my boss, I'm pleased with my co-workers, I'm pleased with my vacations. Estoy complacido, ¿verdad? Soy, me siento bien. Polite to es como ser amable hacia alguien, ¿ok? So I need you to tell me some of these phrases and eh, add some other compliments. Please, but before this, we're going to check the attendance list. And say hello if you are there. Ana Mercedes, hello. <coughs> Present. Thank you, Andreita. Hi. Oh, Charlie. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen Sira, I know that you are there, Carmen. Thank you. Um, I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Claudia. Present. Good. Carito. Present. Nice. Maritza. Present. Perfect. Diana, you are there. Present. Present. Thank you. Ede. Present. Present. Nice. Edgar. Edgar, are you there? See you later. Elsa. Present, teacher. Good. Damari. Bellarina. Present. Thank you. Helen. Present, teacher. Good. Kevin. Present. Manuel. Present. Good. Marlon. Well, Marlon is not here. Susie either. And Jasmine. Present. Thank you, and Bea. Okay. Uh, tell me one by one, uh, one of these phrases and a compliment. Elsa and then Maritza, please. Mm. Setting to the student. Okay, uh, Maritza, Diana. I please with the English class. Oh, good. Extra point for you, Maritza. Okay, Diana, Helen. I'm grateful to God. Okay, yes. Helen and Manuel. Identical to my daddy. Okay, good. Uh, Manuel Damari. I need time, teacher. Okay, uh, Damari and Ede. Keen on, así, keen on. Kind, kind to? Kind, kind on learning English, maybe. Okay, ah, keen. Ah, yo pensé que decías kind to, uh, keen on. Okay, keen on, thank you. Keen on, uh, I say keen on, no. Yes, keen, keen on. Yeah, that's it. Cuando vean doble E, este siempre va a sonar con I. Por ejemplo... Eh, keep fit, e incluso jeep, cuando ustedes dicen jeep ok, la jeepeta so, when you see the two free eh, when you see two eh, is, you have to pronounce it like this, thank you Damari ok, Ede and then Kevin Marriott with oh, Marriott too, Jasmine ah, bye Kevin, romántico el hombre, yeah, I like it That's the attitude. <laughs> Kevin. Please with my effort. No sé cómo sería esfuerzo. Effort. 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 Good. Claudia and then Jasmine. Good at work. Yeah, good at work. And Jasmine and then Andrea. Uh, my baby is identical to her father. Okay. Ah. Uh... Están peleando, se están contentando aquí en la clase. Okay. Good. Andrea, and then we go with uh, Mercy. Patient to clients. Patient. My patient. Patient to clients. Good. Y curiosamente, patient significa paciente, de tener paciencia y paciente de hospital. So, yeah, it has, como en español, tenés que ser paciente. Ya va a llegar tu momento, o tenés que, eres un paciente del hospital. Ok, un hospital mental. Ok, eh, Charlie, eh, uh, Mercy, right? Yeah. Mercy and Charlie. Good at? 
for playing soccer. Okay, uh, Charlie, and then we go with Carito. I said with my family. Okay, nice, Carito. Keep on Christmas. Good one, okay. Uh, Beatriz is moving. Parece que Beatriz va allá. Yes, teacher, but Every... I can participate. Okay, could you say one of these phrases in a compliment, please? Um, patient, patient, patient to my my kids. Okay, okay, <laughs> nice, perfect, good one. Okay, uh, so here we have a worksheet. Remember that yesterday we were talking about gerunds. So gerunds are verbs with ing, verbo con ing, and they can be used as subjects and after some verbs, and of course after prepositions. Okay, uh, increasing our sales is mandatory, or I think that I prefer getting a bank loan, or I'm interested, no, interested teacher, interested in buying raw material. So here we have some verbs that I told you before. If you see these verbs, they are uh, commonly with uh, gerunds. Casi siempre van con gerunds, esos verbos. Okay, and I, I uh, mentioned some of the examples, for example, like, I like swimming, I enjoy eating pupusas, I can help uh, dancing, uh, enfermera from Hermano Flores, I finish working and so on. So here we have some of these ones. And if you notice, here we have admitted, avoid, consider, and here we have this. Look, avoid, what is consider? I guess I saw consider over there. Well, it should be over there. There is that I. So we have to uh, we have to change these uh, verbs to gerund forms. Okay, a la forma de gerunds. So I need you to tell me one of this. And we're going to start in this time with Andre. Okay, Andre. Showtime. And then Claudia. I enjoyed uh, get getting mm -hmm. getting on the beach all day. Okay. Getting pitch. Okay, let, let, let's say this. I'm sorry. Yes, okay, good. What about Claudia and Charlie? Claudia. Okay. Um, my sister fancies or fancy? Okay, my sister. Yes, uh -huh. Francis. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will give you time. Uh, Charlie, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then Elsa. You should you should avoid eating so much meat. Yes, you should avoid. You should uh, de evitar. Avoid. Uh huh. Uh, eating, eating so yes, much meat. Eating, eating, uh -huh. uh, so much meat, especially pork. Pork es eh, carne de cerdo. Pig es cerdo cuando está vivo, pero pork es cuando ya está muerto. So uh, sometimes pork meat uh, it is not so healthy, Fish. but it is delicious. I like it. I really love it. Okay, but por eso porky, verdad? Bueno, pero ese ya es alusión a otra cosa, pobre porky. Pero es ya ya la carne. Mi teacher, antes que me la quiten. Ah, estamos de tramposo. Bye. <laughs> ok, Jasmine, and then Elsa. No quiere que se la ganen. Uh -huh. She practiced playing the piano all day. Perfect. She practiced uh, playing uh, the piano all day. Thank you. Uh, Andrea, and then we we'll go with Helen. I'm sorry, Elsa mm -hmm. and Helen. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, please. I detest uh, wake up, wake, waking, mm -hmm. waking up when it is dark outside. 
Uh, I guess everybody do. Every, I'm sorry, everybody does. Uh, waking up and getting, when it is dark outside, it is like you don't want to wait, get, get up. You don't want to get up from the bed. No te quieren levantar si está oscurito. Come on. But it's part of, uh, it's part of our, our life. So uh, who's next? Um, Helen. Oh. Oh. Okay, Helen Mercy. Please consider. Consider. Tell, consider. Tell you heart if you new money. Eh, pero como estamos con Gerunds, eh, Helen, ¿cómo sería? No sería sell, sería. Ay, me poncho. Sería ay, no solo le vamos a agregar ing. Ay. Selling. Ok, selling. 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 Ok, okay eh, yes, mercy, and then we go with Maritza. Espera. I don't mean. Doing homework. I don't mind. I, I don't mind. Doing homework. Sería doing o doing. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón, Marcy? La pronunciación, doing or doing. Doing. Yes. yes. Okay, who's next? We we'll go with Maritza and then Carito. Okay. Um, okay, do you need time? Yes. Okay, me. Carito and Andrea. Okay, number one. Hmm? He admitted. Hmm? Sí. Es admitted o admitted. ¿Por qué no lo has dicho? Okay, he admitted eh, lying. Casi, casi, en el examen. ¿Qué puedes hacer en el examen? Mentir en el examen. Eh, también, ah, o sea que usted miente. Sí. Ok, carito. Oh. No. Podemos. Aquí tenemos este verbo. Cheat. ¿Te acuerdas qué es cheat? No, I don't remember. Uh -huh. well, ¿Cómo sería con ING? ¿Cheat sería? ¿Cheating? Yeah, cheating. Uh -huh. O okay. tres, o oh, cheating. Ok. Cheating, ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cheating, ok. Cheat, it means yes, yes. pedir copia. Ah. O engañar, engañar literalmente oh, yes. a su pareja. Ok. Cheat, oh, that, that's okay. cheat. Anótalo. Pueden utilizarlo. Yes. yes. No, 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 you for, for because of the other person. Definitely. I know you know. ¿Verdad, Helencita? Jamás lo haremos. Así que no. Ok, and, and Andrea. ¿Yo? Tú lo harías. Ok. No. Claro. Bueno, si lo haces. Que yo voy a decir ya, ya ah, estoy lista. Ok, ok. Eh, Claudia, my, sister, my sister fences working a pop star. Ok, working. Mm, uh -huh. Could it be? Could it be? Pero en este caso vamos a utilizar become. Become. Become significa convertirse o llegar a ser. Mm. Pueden anotar ah, este verbo. Puede ser become. Become, becoming. Ok. Hello. Eh, uh -huh. Maritza, hello. Yeah. Yes, I don't show, but I. Ah, think... Let's try, let's try. <laughs> uh, I took my umbrella. I didn't want to risk live wet. living wet. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to risk. Uh -huh. Living wet? Yes, 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 yes. Living wet. Oh, good as possible. Thank you. Uh, now let's go with Andrea and then we go with Diana. Te la ganaron. Sorry. No, again, teacher. Ah, no, I'm sorry. Diana, 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 Diana. Okay. Eh, ya que viene Susi, la vamos a la bienvenida. Mm, we finished. Go uh, ahead. Right. Our essay. 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 Essay before noon. Yes, we finished. Bien pronunciado. Eh, writing our essays before noon. Terita, do you remember what is noon? Es como mm, medio. Yes. Medio, algo así. Mediodía. Mediodía. Good. 
So, uh, para que Susi se prepare emocionalmente, físicamente. Eh, antes vamos con Charlie. ¿Ya pasaste, Charlie? No, right. Yes. Okay, okay. Entonces, vamos con eh, Susi. En Ed. Vaya que bienvenida, ¿verdad, teacher? Good no, evening. Para que vea que te extrañamos. Antes oh. que todo, yo, yo sé, pero, pero, eh, do you remind me, please? Ok. Eh, eh. We are using gerunds, verbs with ing, verbos con ing, ¿ok? Eso es. Eh, I'm going to give you like time. Relax. Ede, yes, please. ¿ya pasaste, Ede? No, all right. I guess no. Okay. Really? Um, Kevin, be ready. She okay. designed. Uh, I try with with the the job in the supermarket involved uh, working at night. Perfect, working at night. Okay, good one. And uh, Kevin, are you ready? Ah, the Maris makeup. Okay. Yep. I really appreciate. Um, I don't know. Telling? Yeah, could be telling. Okay. Appreciate. Appreciate. Okay. Good. Damari, do. No, teacher, todo lo que iba a decir, usted me deja de último. No, siempre. Okay. Damari, Todas me la ganaron justo. Para ponerle más emoción, para ponerle uh. más emoción a la vida. Damari. She, I don't know what it is. She de de nie de nie. The night, the night, the night. She denied complaining. Could it be complaining taxi without paying? Could it be? Mm -hmm. Susie, what about this? Is good teacher no? Yeah, yeah. Could it be? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Ya, eso lo tiene uh, que ser en tu corazón. Michael Lee, keep. Uh, line teacher. Yep. Line of the time. It was okay. any. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Any annoying. 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 Mm -hmm. so, so, Así como lo dije. Annoying. Yes, that's it. Uh, teacher, ¿qué significa esa frase? O sea, esa oración. It was annoying. Fue no, toda la oración. My colleague kept uh, lying all the time. Mi colega pasó. O se mantuvo mintiendo todo el tiempo. Okay. Keep, eh, cuando decimos keep, eh, eh, for example, you are, you are in a recess, está en un receso en su trabajo, and you're speaking with, with your colleagues, you're talking, having a conversation, and then your boss appears, and you start working, and, and your boss may say, okay, uh, please keep on working. Sigan trabajando, manténganse trabajando. Keep significa mantener. Ok, so, sigan trabajando. Eh, o cuando alguien dice keep in silence, manténganse en silencio. Ok, so that's it. ¿Y la última palabra qué significa? Annoying es eh, penoso, simi eh, similar a embarrassing. Ok, okay my friends, good, good. Ya que ya tenemos claro este tema. So, what is your biggest fear in life? Are you afraid that it might come true? What about Charlie? And then Damari, para que diga que no lo dijo. Uh, aquí voy a responder las dos. Ok. <laughs> uh, my biggest fear is spider. It can be said uh, that I develop development. No, develop, 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 develop that fear when I was in high school, okay. and since then every time I see a spider, in addition to a uh, shaking, mm -hmm. uh, I start sweat, sweating, sweat, sweat. sweat. Well, uh, of course, my my um, my fear uh, is, is to meet some spider. I clarify 
that is not all a spider that terrorizes me. Uh, obviously, uh, the small, the small ones do not. No, right. But no problem with the small. If, yes, but if they measure more than one centimeter, yep. including their their legs, it's to go scurvy. Yes, they are, they are bigger, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I, I clearly couldn't couldn't become a Spider Man. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That could uh, have been great. Okay, thank you, Charlie. Just one thing. Uh, Say so a scenes, okay? Scenes, scenes. Uh, Thank you, scenes. Una canción de Gaza Rosa se llama Since I Don't Have You. Seguramente ya me he escuchado. Really good. So. Y esta con sweat. Eh, eh, si se dan cuenta que ahí siempre le doy no, no, nombres de canciones. Quizás porque yo así aprendí bastante vocabulario. Okay. Eh, esta, esta canción I want to make you sweat es una que una de reggae que dice la, 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 la. O sea, se llama I want to make you sweat okay. en Instagram descubrí esa canción así ya con esa traducción ajá todos pensamos que es la, 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 but I want yes, to make you sweat yes. and the, the band is inner circle very nice song. so um, let's see Damari, the last one. Damari, sí. and then we go with... No para tanto. <laughs> Merci. Huh? Yes, teacher, my, my biggest fear in my life is old age. <laughs> old age? Yes. Hmm? Really? Uh, without having full, fulfill my, all my dreams. Okay. Without having fulfilled, sin haber completado. Fulfilled es completar. All my dream teacher. All your dream. Yes. And that is something that could it be really sad, right? Like disappointing, decepcionante, right? When you have some uh, objectives in life, you get old or you are elder. Ya eres como mayor. Cuando decimos elder, hablamos eh, de, de, de los mayores, de los ancianos. So when you are elder. And your objectives in life have not been accomplished. Okay. Eh, cuando decimos accomplished, es logrado. Accomplished objectives. Ah, yes. okay. Es que no encontraba. Mm -hmm. Accomplished. Accomplished, o podemos decir rich. Rich es alcanzar. Accomplished, igual, alcanzar. Okay. Pero rich a veces es alcanzar con la mano y alcanzar tus objetivos. Pero accomplished es lograr tus objetivos. Okay. Yes, uh, I agree with you. Uh, Damari and Mercy, and then Jasmine. Uh, my biggest biggest fear is that one day I will miss my mother. Yes, Mercy. Uh, I guess we. I guess everybody would like to have moms forever, right? <laughs> yes, I uh, don't it, know if I can cope with that pain. <laughs> uh, yes, well, it's part of the life, unfortunately. But we have to enjoy the time uh, while we have our moms. Thank you, Mercy. And Jasmine. Me? Yes, you, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, my biggest fear is I um, and to be on the beach and come a tsunami. Uh, yes. Have you seen the movie Impossible? Yes. <laughs> you are four of them. A lot of things that happen. Yes. yes. Okay, Charlie, no doblaste tu ropa. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. No escucharon nada. No escucharon nada. No, 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 no. In silence, in silence. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, eh, Jasmine. That movie is like, that scares, right? Eso da miedito, right? Yes. And because of the kids, there are the kids, they, they're having some yes. fun. Ah, see. Okay. Well, that's a good point. Thank you, uh, Jasmine. So uh, here we have this. And 
in this case, uh, I need to take a look at this. This is like a read the following balance sheet of a company. So here we have consolidated, yeah. yes? I'm sorry. Eh, no vamos a hacer la anterior de esa o vamos a ir primero de esa y después. ¿Cómo la anterior? Es que la anterior es la número 44 y estoy esperando esa explicación. ¿Sí? No, no sé si lo va a hacer después y es antes. Cuatro. Eh, sí, pero esa es la 43 primero. Ajá. Sí, la de los condicionales, ¿verdad? Todos quieren ver eso. Eh, sí, todos porque because of the platform exercises sí, I'm Marisa, sorry, me había equivocado sí, sí, la tranquila, sí, tranquila sí, pero vamos a ver eso, hoy vamos a empezar a ver y el tema es bien fácil, ya van a ver Risa, les voy a dar ok, so here we have consolidating balance sheet January, so vamos a trabajar antes de irnos a todo esto, vamos a trabajar con cantidades de mil y de un millón ok, so for example it is easy Let's see. Yo creo que sabemos lo de las cantidades. Ok. Um, Andrea, 100 es 100. Para decir 1000, ¿cómo decimos? 1000. Y tenemos 1000. Ok. So, for example, um, Um, 3,564, uh, uh, 3,564, okay? And 20,123, okay? So, siempre decimos 3,000, 20,000, okay? I'm going to put it in this. Creo que con ustedes no habíamos llegado a los miles. Pero... Ok, bueno, million es millón. Okay. So, uh, vamos a hacer algo bien, bien fácil. Eh, necesito, eh, necesito que, bueno, ya saben, para decir 100, 200, 300, 300, en el chat, en el chat, escriban el nombre de alguien, por ejemplo, Diana escribe Susi y le pone una cantidad con miles, con miles, pero no solo quiero que me pongan 2,000, pónganme 2,000. 726 o algo así, ¿verdad? Así que comenzamos ahorita en el chat. Por eh, ejemplo, Charlie, que quien write Damari, y le pones ahí lo que te debe, Charlie. So, eh, we're going to talk about thousand, eh, thousand, de miles, vamos a hablar ahorita. Que ganan ustedes. So, uh, here we have Kevin. Ok, Kevin, you're the first. Vean su chat y anticipen, ¿verdad? If you need help, I will help you, ¿ok? Ok, tengo que poner esta no. cantidad. Kevin, ya tú sos el primero, Maritza ya te vacunó con una cantidad, so you have to say. Ah. Entonces, solo tengo que decirla. Yes. Ok, I think 7,000. Yes. 545. Good one, Charlie. And then Carito. Okay, uh, 2,725. Uh, uh, 56. Uh, 56. Ah, 56. 56, yes. Charlie. Okay. Yes. Uh, Carito. Uh, pero ahí solo le pusiste, Charlie, a de 114. Y debe de ser con 1,000. Oh, sorry, sorry. En okay. eso me creo que eso es lo que te debe de Nilsson. Quizás le estás tirando. Tú tienes que ser como. Okay, carito, and then we go with Helen. Okay. Yes. One, one, down. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. Uh, Helen, and then we go with Andrea. Okay. One. One, down. Yes. 525. Good one, Andrea. And then five, Diana. 5,525. Uh, Perfect. Uh, Dianita and then Mercy. 
Espérame que no encuentro el chat. Aquí está. Ah, ¿Sabes qué ah, chat está buscando? No, nada. Ah. Two. Ay, two thousand five hundred sixty seven. Yes. Okay, mercy. And then Claudia. Three thousand four hundred fifty six. Yeah. Claudia and Maritza. Eight thousand nine hundred forty five. Good. Maritza, Andrea. Ah, estamos con Andrea. Seven thousand five hundred ninety eight. Okay. Andrea and then Elsa. Two thousand eh, one hundred sixty seven. Good. Elsa and Ede. 7,789. Good. Ede and then Susie. Boy. Uh, 1,850. Good. Susie and Bea. 1,900. Uh, 85. Good. And Bea. Okay, I guess Bea. Yes, Bea, hey. you're the last. Oh. I voy. Okay. A. 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 Yes, Manuel, are you ready? Well, you need time, right, Manuel? Okay, so here we have some, uh, here we have some quantities. Obviously, uh, if we have, for example, vamos a tener ahora otras cantidades. Okay, so what about Damari? Could you read it, please? Five thousand, no. Five hundred. Five hundred sixteen. Thousand. Sixty thousand. Okay. <laughs> 234. Muy bien. 200. En, en español, en español, Damari. 560 mil. Uh -huh. 234. 234. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vaya, así debe ser en, en inglés. Entonces 500, sería. 560 mil, ¿cómo sería? 500. Uh -huh. 60,000. Mm -hmm. Y eso es normal. 234. Yes. Ahora todo vamos a volver a escribir en el chat, pero necesito, tranquila Claudia, te va a dar, mira, ahí ya te a dar los colochos. Ok, necesito un número entre 100,000 y otra cantidad. O sea, debe tener seis dígitos. Okay, six numbers. Debe tener seis dígitos. O sea, if we have, for instance, eh, siempre es necesario poner la coma, please. Okay, eh, an example. Eh, what about here, eh, Andrea? Ay, perdón, teacher, no veo. Oh. Eh, 234,000. Thousand. Thousand seventy hundred eighty eighty nine seven hundred eighty nine yes bien comencemos ahí le puedo ayudar no problem I'm going to help you lo que pasa es que vamos a ver cantidades de it's millón it's difficult for me teacher it's difficult for everyone so see, but you're very intelligent and I know you can do it piense aquí eh, como les he dicho que normalmente eh, 
Vaya, Andreita. Mira, Manuel, Manuel no me contestó, pero bien te está vacunando, mira. Sí, hasta en mayúsculas lo pone. Vaya, ya, sí. ya, ponele una buena, ponele una buena. Ah. Ok, so, um, we're going to talk about million quantities. Ya vamos a ver cantidades de un millón, así rápidamente, pero eso es importante, lo de los miles, ok. So, eh, siempre les he dicho que no debemos de españolizar el inglés, o sea, no vamos a decir lo que pensamos en, en español e inglés, pero en este caso sí se puede. Piénselo en español si gustan y es similar. Okay. So, Andrea, you're the first one. It's not possible. Yes, it's possible. Uh, 103,000. Yes. Uh, 564. Yes. 500. 500. Ay, perdón. 500. Susi, vaya, Dianita. Bueno, Susi. Ah, teacher, come on. <laughs> you need time? Okay. No, 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 no. Yes, so. uh, 777,000, yeah? Mm -hmm. And 777. Ah, bueno, mandaste eso por chat aparte a Diana. Okay. No. Okay, no, get it. You're good. You also see, right? Okay. Eh, y por qué me están vacunando Andreita, pobrecita, le vamos a dar espacio para que respire eh, Kevin ok ok, wait okay. 235,890 good, Helen and then Edgar <laughs> ay no Andrea <laughs> Tú puedes. 800. Um, ¿Qué dice? 900. 900. ¿Cómo se dice 99? Ay, no me acuerdo. 99. Okay. 99. Oye, bien, yo te voy a dar los primeros tres. 999,000. Bueno. Pensalo, te voy a dar tiempo. Hasta ya te había dicho toda la respuesta. Ok, Edgar, and then Claudia. Come on, Edgar. Eh, ok, let's see. Claudia, and then Andrea. ¿De quién? ¿Ya viste dónde estaba? Vale, buscate ahí. Ok, Claudia, ready? Yes. Please. Yes. 400. Fifty six thousand. Yes. Uh, eighteen. No, Permítame 800. que me perdí. Eight hundred. Eight. Ajá. Eight hundred. Eight hundred sixty four. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Uh, Elsa and the, uh, uh, Andrea then Elsa. One hundred fifty thousand three hundred twenty five. Good one. Elsa and Damari. Pongan a Charlie, que no me, no me lo han vacunado a Charlie. No. Eh, 987. 345. Good one. Damari. Lo perdí. Ah, no, acá está. ¿A quién? ¿A quién? A la cosita esta. Ah, ok. Eh, a 40 mil. <risa> mira, y eso sí solo para eso. Y apaga el micrófono, mira. Vaya, eso sí quiere decir la mía. Dice. Ajá, sí. No, ya la vamos a preparar otra la Susi, porque es muy fácil de la pusieron. Ok, Mercy. Ah, Mercy. Eh, 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 Damari, Damari. 452,334. Yes. Lo siento, Helen, no me voy a regañar mañana. Helen, no vayas a agarrar represalias con... con pobre Kevin. Yo no soy así ni lo regaño. Ok. ¿Ya estás lista, Helen? No. Ok. Mercy and then Charlie. Vaya, me pusieron a Charlie ahí para que se active. Eh, ay, ¿cuál era el mío? <risas> ahí está el último, el penúltimo ese. Vamos. Eh, 
500. Mm -mm. No. Ah, yes, 500. 500. 60. 67. 12. Yes. 1289. <laughs> Perfect. Charlie and then Manuel. Okay, seven hundred fifty-five thousand six hundred fifty. Good, uh, Manuel. Bien, se vengaron, va. No está bueno. Está muy poco te pusieron. Ajá. Es seven hundred seven hundred thirty-two thousand six hundred fifty. Nine, uh, 951. Ah, está viendo el de arriba, 650. Ah, ajá. Ok, Jasmine, ¿ya te encontraste contigo misma? Espiritualmente. Yes. Yeah. Ok, go ahead. Uh, eh, 555,555. Ok, good. So, thank you, thank you. So, now that we have this, it is easy, ya va a ser más fácil, pues, uh, ver la otra parte. Okay, so here we have some quantities. Eh, siempre son los miles. Por ejemplo, el primero, a Susi la voy a poner. So, en el primero acá, es como que si dijésemos el, la cantidad de mil, ¿eh? 800 19 mil. Vaya, eso sí, ¿cómo decimos? 819 mil. Fácil, pan comido. 819 mil. Ah, uh, teacher, no se puede con los números. Quiero ver. 800. 800. Eh, 19,000. Vaya. That's it. Yeah. Para de sufrir. Okay. ok. Lo único que le vamos a agregar aquí es 1 million. 1 million 819,000 dólares. Va, y esta está más fácil, miren, ve, si aquí solo thousand van a decir, miren, mira, eso sí, para de sufrir, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces. Vamos... No me gustan esos números. Ah. Bueno. No me gustan esos números. Ah, quisiera que hubieran más números aquí. Si están más fáciles esos, ok. Um, so, uh, lo vamos a hacer rápido, eso, ok. So, here we have the current assets, assets son activos, ok. En liabilities son pasivos, ok. So here we have some um, uh, activos. It's like the currency, maybe some incomes that we could have inflows, verdad? Es el, el dinero que entra, que, que fluye y que no es ningún gasto. En cambio, los pasivos eh, pueden eh, que son los pagos, o sea, son los egresos. Okay. So here we have current assets. Uh -huh. Current, in este caso, current significa eh, dinero. ¿Verdad? El tema monetario. No currently. No, no, nada que ver con currently. Current significa eh, el tema económico. ¿Ok? So here we have January 31st, uh, 2016. And January 31st, uh, 2017. O sea que se está comparando un año. One year in comparison to the quantities. So cash and equivalent total current assets. So uh, let's see. Vamos a elegir solo unos cuantos de ustedes. Um, Bea en Maritza. Select one of these. Cualquier cantidad de todas esas. Solo le vamos a, a agregar, ¿verdad? En el caso de si tienen seis eh, ¿qué? números, es porque es un millón. De lo contrario, algunos son, solo son miles, como lo hemos estado trabajando. ¿Ok, Maritza en Beatriz? O Beatriz y Maritza, depends. Okay. Eh, ¿Quién va primero? Eh, you go, please. Ok. 19 millions, uh, 135,000. Perfect, Marita. Vea. Uh, account payable. 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 Uh, 9 mil. Nine, 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 nine million. Nine million. Three hundred. Three hundred? No. Three hundred. Thousand. Thousand. Yes. Okay. 
Ya ven que no está tan difícil. Ok. So, let's see here. Eh, vamos a poner Mercy, está nerviosa. Ay, Mercy. Pero antes de Mercy y Helen me queda debiendo. Ok, ahí con... la digo ya. Mejor. Yeah. Ay, yeah. mujer empoderada. That's the attitude. Ok, go ahead. Eh, total current. Eh, exit o oh, assets. 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 Mm -hmm. assets. assets. Eh, six million. Ok. Eh, six hundred twenty thousand. Dollars. Yes, that's so, fácil. Yes, good, that's it. So, here we have, uh, yeah. yep. Do you want to try? Uh, yeah, yeah. The lads, the lads. The uh, total. So, uh, so holder uh, equity. Exactly. Uh -huh. yes. What say? Intentalo. Repeat. Repeat. Uh, so holder What say? equity. Ah, uh, assets. Uh, this one. Lads, lads, lads. The lads. Total. Hmm? Lads. Uh, what do you say? Total liabilities. Or total. Lads. Lads. Final. Final. This. This. Yes. 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 But, but, uh, what say? Total. The pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is the pronunciation? Uh -huh. Stockholder. Total stockholder equity. Equity. Stockholder. Stock, okay. Stockholder. Stockholder. Que son accionistas. Okay. And say, I think four million sixty six thousand and thousand. Yes. No. The yes. Four million sixty six thousand. Sencillo. Okay. Six thousand. Yes. yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. And I know um, we maybe we are not so we are not working or we have not been working related to numbers because this is not our well the best part of this, but it is necessary to manage quantities. It is good, at least hundreds and thousands. And why not million? And if you want to say something uh, some uh, quantities related to million, it is easy. You just have, you just have to add million. Solo tienen que agregarle el millón y ya está. Así como lo estuvimos haciendo de los miles, ¿ok? So that's it. And now we have to add. Tenemos que sumar, ¿ok? Remember, we have January 2016 and January 2017, ¿ok? Tenemos los activos, los, eh, los pasivos y el tema de los accionistas que son stockholders, ¿ok? So eh, in this, let's see porque tenemos que avanzar con los demás temas. Ok, so, how much is the total of assets in, and liabilities in 2017? 2017, ok, total assets, here we have, sorry, and total uh, liabilities, el total de activos y el total de pasivos, ok. Uh, I need you to use your calculator in your cell phone, please. Y vamos a ver quién se anima a decir, ¿ok? Ok, en total assets. Ok, total assets. Uh, ok, Maritza. Maritza, ¿cuál es el número? Ya la vi. 8 millones, 91,000. Eight million ninety one thousand. Perfect, Marita. Good, that's it. Nice. So, here we have the quantity. Obviously, there are dollars. Okay, there are dollars. And who has total liabilities? Me. Okay, Ede, your turn. Fourteen. Million three hundred thirty nine uh, thousand. Yes, that's it. That's the total. Okay, that's good. Uh, now let's see. And here we have the, the other end. If we add, okay, si sumamos esta cantidad, 
and this, okay, if we add uh, 867,000 millions, okay, and two, what, uh, two millions, 554,000, uh, estos ceros se los vamos a quitar, mira. estos ceros no van acá, okay, siempre vamos a contar con la cantidad de, de millones, okay, so 867,000 and two million five hundred eighty four thousand si sumamos esto que eh, serían los siguientes que serían esto okay common stock and capital surplus quién tendría esta suma y me la dice is three millions eh, for four hundred 51,000. Mm. Three millions? Ay. I'm sorry. Uh, 451,000. 451. Yes. Okay. This is, okay. Here we have the quantities and I know that for some of you have Difficulty, dice eso sí que tiene problemas, pero lo dijo bastante bien. And some of you may, may say that you have problems with this. And if you want to, to know some of this, you can use even Google Translator. Pueden poner esas cantidades en Google Translator y que, y que se las diga en inglés. So you can have another idea and compare. Compare, okay? that is something very important in English. Now you have tools like internet, tienen herramientas de internet. You have to take advantage of that. Okay, so we're going to continue with the with the other topic porque me, me estaban diciendo que, que querían avanzar con el otro tema. I right? know it is necessary. Okay, so here we go with speaking. We're going to do the same activity as yesterday. So uh, you're going to work in couples. For example, Manuel and Bea. So Manuel can say, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? So, uh, Manuel says, for example, okay, Bea, number 10, y se viene Bea para acá. Present simple, lose the ball in the sea. Uh, Bea can say, um, we lose the ball in the sea. Okay, present simple. Y viene Bea y le dice, okay, number six, Manuel. Y le dice, past simple, okay? Design the clothes in our lessons. Y Manuel puede decir, my boss designed, en pasado, designed, uh, the clothes in art lessons. Pero aquí le vamos a agregar algo más. Le podemos hacer las negativas si ustedes quieren. Or questions. Okay? Or my boss didn't design the clothes in art lessons. Como ustedes quieran. Affirmative or negative. I need you to write at least three sentences. Al menos tres oraciones. Okay? I'm going to send this image. Le voy a mandar esta imagen en este momento. Okay. A ver. Okay, here you have. And I'm going to create, a, denle una revisada ahorita a la imagen que acabo de enviar, que es esta misma. Okay, there you go, see you. Elsa, hello. Elsa.
Hello, Carito. Me dejó sola el autobús. No, lo que pasa es que Elsa no sé, nunca entró Elsa, ¿verdad? No. ¿Qué? Que no sé por qué, creo que el, el, la aplicación la está sacando. Ya sí, tenía. a mí me iba a sacar, estuve a punto que me sacara y, y regresé. Te revelaste. Me revelé. Ay, compa. Ok. Sí. Eh, sí, se salió. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, okay? Uh, okay, Carito, tell me one sentence. Okay, number two, you go. Okay. Uh, invite my to the party. Aha, uh -huh. ¿cómo sería en pasado? You can um, uh, say affirmative, negative, or interrogative. Um, siempre el verbo iría con en pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. Si es, uh, si es afirmativa, invited. Pero si no, puede ser I didn't invite. Si es negativo, es más fácil. Okay. Uh, solo voy a ver lo de Elsa. Permíteme. Okay, okay. Practicala, practicala y ahorita vemos. Ok. Checa rápido. ¿Qué? Demasiado rápido. ¿Qué? Y no lo habíamos terminado. <risa> one sentence, one or two. Eh, two. Vaya, para de sufrir con eso. Hombre, teacher, no lo habíamos ah, terminado. Qué barbaridad. Inspirados. Ay, ajá, ajá. <risa> ahí sí, ahí sí. Ok. Vamos a verlo. Huh? Lo que pasa es que maybe you were talking about another thing. Yes, maybe your, your conversation was going to another place. I don't know. I'm not sorry. Okay. Los que todavía no salen de, 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 de los grupos de los que salían, se quedaban en el recreo trabajo. Okay. Así era yo también. It was like Okay. Pues a ver ah. qué pasaba haciendo en clase, por eso no le abundaba. Copiando, copiando las clases. Avanzando. Gracias. Va ah, mejor. No, no digo nada. Tú eres muy, sé que eras muy tranquilo. Ok. So tell me just one sentence, solo una oración. Ok. One of the sentences that you have done. Ok. No me digan qué número ni nada, solo díganme la oración. Ok. Afirmas in negative or interrogative. We start with Beatriz. Dice Beatriz que ya lleva como 10 oraciones. She did like 10 sentences. She wants more time. But... Eh, ok. So Bea and then Damari. One sentence each person. Ok, Bea. Ok. Number, number 12. Ok. Solo dime la oración. I, uh -huh. I choose. No. She. She shows me to speak. Perfect. Damari Maritza. The teacher. <laughs> the teacher gave us a day of a school. Uh, gave us. Mm, gave us. Oh, nice. Así como el viernes pasado, ¿verdad? 
querían un vacaciones. Maritza, Mercy. Um, my grandpa makes this CD in the USA. Okay, Mercy, Claudia. She invites me to the party. Okay. Si es en pasado, she invites me. Okay. Si es en pasado, invited. Okay. Good. Claudia, Andrea. I painting my room in red color. Ok. Eh, imagínate pintar tu <ríe> un cuarto de rojo. Wow. Eh, Andrea, Manuel. Hasta la victoria siempre. Ok. Ok. Andrea, my, Manuel. My father painted my room color red. That's red seguimos. color. Se, seguimos, seguimos. Ok. Manuel, Charlie. Hey, my friends, invite Invite, invite me. Invite me or invite. 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 No, es la número dos. Invite. Invited or invited. Este pasado. Invited me to the party Saturday. Good, Charlie, and then we we'll go with Carito. Invited. Okay, Eddie ate all the food yesterday. Okay, very nice. And let's see, uh, what about Andrea? Teacher again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let's move. To... Carito. Carito, Carito, and then Diana, please. Okay. Um... De las que tú hiciste también, Carito. Ay, ajá. Eight. Eight out of the food. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, we go now who with uh, Dianita and then and Diana and just me. Okay, I didn't take a lot of photographs. Okay, nice. Uh, we go now with Ah, Susie. What about Susie and Jasmine? Okay. Uh, she ate all the food in the lunch. Oh, wow. Good. Jasmine, and then we go with Kevin. I make this CD in the United States. Okay. Uh, Kevin and Ede. Okay. He take lots of photographs. Okay. Nice. Ede, your turn. I give, uh, they give us a day of school. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, now let's move. Vamos a movernos. Ah, Manuel. Ya pasaste. Ya, ya pasé, sí. No te creo, ahí me la estás haciendo, me estás haciendo la mexicana, eh. Okay. Oh, Mercy, ¿verdad que no ha pasado? Bro? Ah, ya ves. ¿Quién dice que no? Sí, ha pasado. Ya se enojó. No. Vamos. Vamos, Manuel. Tu momento de brillar ha llegado. Después va carito con todo. Se, se puso los lentes. Ok, what is your biggest fear in life? Ya lo había dicho, ¿no? Ah, no, en la vida. No, dijiste si le tenías miedo a un animal o a los insectos. Ajá, dijiste snakes. Sería similar? Could it be similar? No. Oh. Oh. Different. ¿Cómo decirle? Ah, como el fracaso, como. To fail, failure. Fail my. Uh, fracasar y no cumplir las metas. Ok. Uh -huh. Or, or uh, yes, uh, do not reach the goals. Ok. Yeah, that's it. Yes, I know we have objectives in that. Thank you, Manuel. Now let's uh, see uh, Carito, and then we go with Kevin. My biggest fear is being in the middle of the ocean. No help for any, anyone or anything. That has always been my one of my biggest fears. Yes. To be in the middle of the ocean, like castaway, como, como naufragando, like castaway. And without help, you alone, right? Yes, alone. 
Ok, thanks. Pero ahí están los tiburones. Ah, no, pues sí, te van a hacer barro. <risa> You're going to be your friends. Eh, Gracias, Nunca sobrevivió Ludovico. <risa> Ajá, tome ceviche. Ok, Kevin, your turn. Ok. Ok. I have never thought about it so much, but I think it could be the fact of having a traffic accident. Okay. So what under I understand every day there are motorcycle motorcycle accidents and deaths of the same. So that could be. That could be yes. I guess nobody wants traffic accidents, okay. Nobody, but uh, there are possibilities. There are possibilities. So we have to be careful. Thank you. Kevin, okay. very nice. And what about Diana? Dianita, you there. Okay. My biggest fear fear um, is losing my love ones like my mother or my son. Yes, of course. I know that mothers are so important. And in this case, your kid, right? Your your son. Yes. Definitely nobody wants it. Thank you, Denita. And what about um, Elsa, please? Are you ready? Okay, I guess Elsa was uh, it's out of the Zoom app. I don't know if you have, uh, you are, you have been having problems, have tenido problemas, have tenido problemas con Zoom, que lo saca, ¿verdad? Lo saca de su vida, de su corazón. No, solamente que el sonido a veces como que se corta demasiado, bien raro. Porque antes no me había pasado, pero hoy sí, seguido me está pasando en esta conferencia. Pero no será el internet, ¿verdad, Denise? No, no sé. Ah, pues no sé. Bueno, si vamos a hacer por cualquier cosa, pues recuerden que sus minutos eh, cuentan y se vuelven a conectar y le van sumando los minutos de conexión. Ok. Este es el tema que quería Damari, que me estaba pero súper emocionada. How to use zero conditional. Cuando decimos conditional, vamos a ver, vamos a preguntar. Vea, for you, what is a conditional? What is a condition? ¿Qué es una condición para ti? En, cualquier idea. For example, if when you say if do o sea si lo es como hacerlo como si no lo hace vas a hacer yes if o sea, you don't do it if you don't do it you can have like a negative uh, results okay tienen que hacerlo ahora if if como una canción de un grupo que se llama bread que es muy buena if significa sí but it is not yes yes it's an affirmation or exclamation But if it means C, but for uh, expressing conditions, para expresar condiciones. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Um, que estas oraciones son eh, subordinadas. ¿Qué quieren decir subordinadas? Que una oración no tiene sentido sin la otra. We need both sentences to have to, to, for that to make, uh, to make sense. Okay? If we only read one sentence, it is not a complete idea. So, uh, what do we do if we have very low assets? Recordemos que aquí vamos a trabajar con dos oraciones en una misma idea. Dos oraciones. Bueno, dos ideas podrían ser, pero eh, serían dos en uno. What do we do if we uh, have very low assets? Ahora, vamos a ver el siguiente. Siempre que if vaya al inicio, va a ir una coma. Si if va en medio, no va a ir coma. Pero siempre van a ser dos oraciones. If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. Si tenemos eh, bajos, bajos o pocos activos, eh, vamos a tener que elevar los precios. O eh, we have to even uh, up prices if we have low assets. Tenemos que subir los precios si tenemos bajos activos o bajos ingresos. Okay. Sé que ahorita dicen, Ticha, pero ¿de qué está hablando? I'm going to explain in detail. Ahora tenemos la palabra when, que también puede ser importante. No es, it is not a substitute of if, no es sustituto de if, but we can use it also for conditions. Where does your family go 
if they need a loan. Escucha, ¿dónde va su familia si necesita un préstamo? Y eso tiene una característica. Podemos cambiar el orden de, 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 de las oraciones. ¿Dónde va tu familia si necesita un préstamo? Si tu familia necesita un préstamo, ¿dónde van? ¿Ok? And it makes sense. Y siempre tiene sentido. Ahora, when my family needs a, a loan, they go to the bank. Cuando mi familia necesita un préstamo, ellos van al banco. Ellos van a, mi familia va al banco si ellos necesitan un préstamo. ¿Se ve? Tiene sentido. Or, my family goes to the bank, como les decía, when they need a loan. Ok, bien. Ahora le voy a explicar de, de otra manera antes de, de hacer las oraciones. Porque como dice Susi, que para que no echarlos a la, a la piscina. Bien. Um, antes que nada, el conditional es una condición. For example, y se lo voy a poner de esta, de esta manera. Uh, do you remember when you were kids and you behaved bad? Se recuerda cuando eran niños y se portaban mal. So your mom says, okay, if you don't do your homework, you don't go out to play. Si no haces tu tarea, no sales mal. Si no comes eh, todas las verduras, este, no vas a tomar soda. Si no arreglas tu cuarto, and all of them are conditionals. Todas esas son condiciones. Vamos a ver, quiero que me digan condiciones en español. ¿okay? Eso aplica también para los esposos cuando se portan mal. Y la esposa principalmente. Ok, so let's listen some sentences in Spanish. At least three. Tell me one, Andrea. Any idea? Mm, si está lloviendo, no puedo salir. Okay, good. And what about if we listen to Mercy? Si no te pones al día en tu trabajo, no tendrá vacaciones. Ah, no tiene vacaciones. Vamos no a hacer vacaciones. siempre presente. Ah, porque tendrá ya futuro. Okay. Se escucha triste, but it's true, es cierto. Damari, la estrella de este tema. De Maritza. Si no me voy a dormir. <laughs> Si no tomo agua, me enfermo. Yes, and that's a fact. Es un hecho. Maritza. Mm, si no haces la limpieza, no puedes jugar. Ahora cambia esa oración. No puedes jugar. Si no haces la limpieza. Ya, yeah. tiene sentido. Hace sentido. Ok. So, uh, here we have. Tenemos diferentes condicionales. Necesito que aquí me pongan bastante atención. Eh, es el condicional cero, que es el que estamos estudiando. Zero conditional. We have first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. En total son cuatro. So, in the first, eh, tenemos la if clause, que es la oración con if. Clause significa oración, que es la condición. O sea, allí está cuando la mamá llegaba con el garrote. Si vos no terminas esto, ok. Esa es la condición. Now, in the conditional zero, it's two sentences in simple present. Tenemos dos oraciones en presente. Por ejemplo, si, if I study hard, I always pass my exams. Si estudio duro, yo siempre paso mis exámenes. Mis exámenes. Yo siempre paso mis exámenes si estudio duro. ¿Ok? Ahora, el segundo ya tiene que ver con el, con el presente y futuro. Eso lo vamos a ver rápido. Si estudias duro, pasará, pasaré mi examen. El otro. Um, si yo estudiara duro, pasaría mi examen. Y lo otro es, si yo hubiera estudiado duramente o duro, hubiese pasado el examen. ¿Se dan cuenta cómo cambia eso? La idea es casi igual, solo que cambian las oraciones, pero nos vamos a centrar en el presente. ¿Ok? If I study hard, I always pass my exams. Bien, ya que tenemos esto, bien que tenemos esto, pero vamos con esa oración. ¿Ok? So, uh, for this, I will need um, Beatriz and then Helen. Vamos en presente. Así que acuérdense que vamos a tener que modificar también este, ¿cómo se llaman los verbos si están en tercera persona? Oh. Okay, ya, porque yo. <laughs> porque tú okay. has sido la elegida. <laughs> no. Okay, if I wake up late, I... I'm sorry, no sé por qué siempre hago esto. Fallo. Ajá. Late, I... 
En presente, ¿cuál sería el be? Fácil. I am. Si me despierto late. tarde, si me despierto tarde, estaré tarde para trabajar, ¿ok? Teacher, eh, y, 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 yo tenía una gran duda porque cuando es un futuro, o sea, si me despierto es, if I going to no, wait. I will, uh, I will be, I will be late. Uh -huh. Pero como se estamos... Puede, en... If I wait, if I will. Uh -huh. I will be late. Sí, es, esto es lo que les decía, ¿eh? Mira el segundo condicional, el primer condicional. If I, sorry, I will pass. Ya viste, aquí está. Mm -hmm. Sí se puede. Pero ¿y se cuando, puede? Sé que, cuando sé que, si lo voy a usar o no? ¿Siempre lo puedo usar? Es... Por ejemplo, ahí hubiera podido, hubiera pod ah, no, porque aquí es el be. Sí, exacto, pero se puede poner con el will, se puede. Pero ahorita como estamos con este tema, depende, depende de la, ¿cómo se llama? De la conversación, imagínate. Ah, si están hablando de deudas. Mm. Si yo me ganara, si yo me ganara la lotería, yo pagaría, ¿verdad? Entonces, de acuerdo a las conversaciones, de acuerdo al contexto, es que utilizas esas oraciones, ¿ok? Y esos son temas un poquito más avanzados, ya no son tanto de beginners, pero estamos iniciando lentamente, ¿verdad? Por eso no los quiero, eh, eh, no los quiero confundir, ¿verdad? Así que estamos con lo más básico ahorita. Okay. Okay. Entonces, aquí el verbo se usa tal cual. No, aquí hay un, ese uh -huh. es un verbo. Presente. Wait. Claro. Wake, wake up, up. Eh, sí, despertarse, wake up. Uh -huh. eh, pero, ah, ok, vale. Ah, pues sí. Ok, ¿quién va? Helen, ¿verdad? Ay, no. A ver, number five. Ok. En mi com. ¿Cómo sería mm -hmm. el verbi? Plural. I am. Mm, mm, I am ya, no. sí, ese es para I, pero incomes, estás hablando de plural, ajá. Está uh -huh. am, is, are, ¿cuál sería de esos tres? Sería is. Oh, el de plural, no. are, are. <risa> Perdón, tío. No problem. Ok, continue. No. If the incomes no. are good, an good. employee. An employee. Receive mm. a bonus. Muy bien, solo le vamos a agregar ese porque es tercera persona. Oh. Okay. ok, si los ingresos están bien, un empleado recibe un bono. Good. Now, let's listen to uh, Susie, and then we go with um, Charlie. Ok. Um, and number three, teacher. Yeah. If employees don't eat Perfect. well. Perfect. Don't eat. Well, they don't. Present. What's that? The verb I... They aren't. Hmm? So they are teacher? Mm, they, they aren't or are not. Okay. Aren't or are not. Okay. Healthy. Yes, very mm -hmm. nice. Okay, Charlie, your turn to shine. And then we go with um, Jasmine. Okay, number two, my son, my son was born. In. Uh, okay, uh, burn significa quemar, quemar, quemar la comida. Ah, guay, guay, guay. Entonces sería en tercera persona, ¿ah? Huh? En tercera persona, sí, yes, my. My son Barnes. Yes. Barnes, the food if if he the person if he cooks. Yes, Charlie. Uh, Cook alone. Cooks, cooks, cooks. Uh -huh. Mi hijo quema la comida si él cocina solo. Si él cocina solo, quema la comida. Okay? So that's it. Perfect. Okay, who's next? Jasmine, ¿verdad? Jasmine, are you ready? And then Elsa. Jasmine, okay. Jasmine, not ready. Elsa, what about you? Yeah, number six. We, we sell more product when we, we know 
the customer's need. Okay, we sell more products, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. When we, fácil, es igual. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, vendemos más productos cuando nosotros vemos eh, las necesidades de los estudiantes o cuando conocemos las necesidades. Sí. Ok, sí. the last person is going to be eh, Andrea. Or... Eh, when she pays her bills on time, she. Um, ahí tengo dudas, dicha. She, she not. Mm -mm. Vaya, en presente. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué auxiliar utilizamos para los verbos? No es not. No te sales para el verbo. Judy. She don't. Casi. Decimos she don't. Or she. Does. Yes. Doesn't. She doesn't have. Yes. To pay extra money. Doesn't have. To pay extra money. Ok. No se preocupe, vamos a tener más ejercicios de eso. Sé que es un tema un poquito, un poquito como que raro. Right? Like, mm, teacher, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Clearly, como que no, no capto totalmente. Patience, patience, paciencia. Mis jóvenes, jóvenes para Okay. Um, 16 minutes, 16 minutos. Ya casi terminamos. Let's go to the listening part. Vamos a esta parte de listening. Please, eh, siempre seguimos con... Um, el audio que iniciamos el día de ayer, que es acerca de, de Haybridge, que es una, una pues, casa que al final pues, fue como, se llegó a ser un instituto y pues la vendieron, pasaron varios detalles. Okay. So, uh, I need you to pay attention and be ready with the... Be ready with this short out. Just in a second. Okay, here we go. The Yearly family left Haybridge in 1722, and the property was left empty for some 60 years or so, falling, in the meantime, into quite a state of disrepair. It was during this period of neglect that the small church built on the grounds of the house in the early 16th century crumbled into ruins. Little is known about this church, although one drawing of it survives. A local artist, Timothy Warsden, sketched the church in 1728, a mere six years after the Jerley family moved out. Okay, let's say again. The Jerley family left Haybridge in 1722, and the property was left empty for some 60 years or so, falling, in the meantime, into quite a state of disrepair. It was during this period of neglect that the small church built on the grounds of the house in the early 16th century crumbled into ruins. Little is known about this church, although one drawing of it survives. A local artist, Timothy Warsden, sketched the church in 1728, a mere six years after the Jerley family moved out. Okay, so let's listen to some of the ideas that you heard. What about uh, Damari? Do you have any idea, phrase, or word? Yes, teacher. Please. Little, little it now about the church. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What about uh, Maritza? And then Diana. Um, I don't understand. Uh, that small church built on the ground in the house into house okay fine fine i know that it was like difficult audio okay and uh, next we have diana and susie um, girly 
Jerry family move out, creo. Good one. Susie, and then here we have um, Eden Nilsson. Mm, the yearly family left uh, in the mid time, in the yearly, in the early, sorry, mm -hmm. and look at the artist. Yes, Eden Nilsson and Mercy. Family move out. Yes, family move out. Good. Okay, and here we have also. Mercy. Yes, mercy, mercy, mercy. Uh, my family, 1722. How? Look, art, artist. Artist, yes. Very good. Nice. So now let's uh, have an idea about this. I need to uh, read it and check. The yearly family left Haybridge in 1722, and the property was left empty for some 60 years or so, falling, in the meantime, into quite a state of disrepair. It was during this period of neglect that the small church built on the grounds of the house in the early 16th century crumbed into ruins. Little is known about this church, although one drawing of it survives. A local artist, Timothy Warsden, sketched the church in 1728, a mere six years after the Jerley family moved out. Okay, and we have 11 minutes. Tenemos ya 11 minutos. So uh, we go to the... Okay. Ya no va a presentar Jasmine su canción. But uh, what is your biggest fear? Before that, antes de eso, y vamos with Andrea. Please, Andrea, and then uh, Claudia. Claudia, no sé si es Okay, Andrita. Okay. My biggest fear in my life is to be left without the people I love. Mm -hmm. We don't want people we love to disappear or they go away. We always mm -hmm. want that people to be in our lives. Definitely it is. And uh, Claudia, and after Claudia, we go with Maritza. Okay, my biggest fear is that when I dream, something bad will come true. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you for, for something bad will come true. Come true is como come hacerse true. realidad. Mm -hmm. And we have that negative idea, right? When we have nightmares, que es pesadillas. Nightmares, es pesadillas. So sometimes we have those bad dreams and we think that maybe that might come true. Thank you. Okay, uh, Maritza. And after Maritza, Eden Nilsson. Okay, my biggest fear is of being alone. Uh, and if I am afraid that this will happen, that the children are live at home and my husband can live or die. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, we have that fear too. Thank you, Maritza. And we go with Edenilson, all right? Yes. Please. Maybe and then die, Edson. maybe die, uh, ahogado. Okay. Like. Or, um, Born, yes, a uh, born. Ah, you, you way, you say the ways of dying. Te refieres como a la forma de de de, de morir. De morir, sí. Eh, morir so you, ahogado, you, morir. you have okay, but what? You have two options, uh, like uh, two opposites, okay? Como que dos uh, opciones, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then let me see. Here we have like burnt, burnt is quemado. So, como el de quemar la, la comida que dijimos hace un momento, okay? But if we say, you can say, mm, son, ahogado. Sí. Especialmente, son? yes, or you can say maybe in, okay. the, in, the, in a pool, in the sea, porque si también eh, te puedes ahogar con, 
cuando te tragas algo, when you are eating, you okay. are choked. Choked es eso. Okay. But, so, the, but, but we, the we talk about water. We, you, you, you say water, right? Uh, whatever, the sensation of, la sensación de, de, de ahogarse. Yes, to, to suffer, uh, like pauses, slowly, sufrir lentamente, right? Yes. That's your point. Yes. That's your point. Okay. Yes. Nobody wants that. Me either. Thank you. And uh, we listen now to Helen and then Susie. My biggest fear, uh, maybe my children will be left alone if I die or something happens to them. Yes, yes. like as a mom, you have that fear and that's natural. Thank you. Okay, Susie and then Beatriz. Okay, it's, it's similar telling now that I am a mom of family. I fear that I will lose my children or that something may happen to me and I will have to leave them. Mm -hmm. yes, you don't want to leave them alone, right? At least right. they they are older. Al menos que ellos crezcan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they are kids. They are still in like very uh, little ones. Thank you. Hey, Bea, Elsa, no sé si pasó. Creo que no. Okay, Bea. No, uh, I have Bea two Elsa. biggest far, fear. fears. Mm -hmm. And fears, perdón. Number one, la cucarachas. Okay. <laughs> number two. Cantar? <laughs> that the people I love like to me. No. Maybe we share uh, those those situations as well. And Elsa, y de ahí vamos con Jasmine con su canción. Please, Elsa. Uh, with current yeah, biological weapons, it mm, is likely yeah. that zombies will exist in the not to distant future. Not a decent feature, and remember that uh, there are a lot of weapons that they yeah. cost less. They are cheaper, son más baratas sometimes, and sí. they cause a big damage. Causa un daño increíble. The theory like, uh, is the, the COVID, yeah? Más yes. o menos. That, 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 that's uh, one of the weapons, like biological weapons. Yes, that's another yes. theory. I have heard about it. So thank you, Elsa. Yes, that's a, a, another fear that maybe we could have. And Jasmine, yes. please, your turn for the song, and we are going to finish. Yes. Please. Um, yep. uh, I read the, the letter. Yeah. Yes, the, the, the paragraph, please. Because okay. girls like you run, run with guy like me till sundown when i come through i need a girl like you yeah yeah girls like you love fun and yeah to me what i want uh, when i come through i need a girl like you mm -hmm. <laughs> yes what what is the, the, the name of that song Eh, like like ah, salió Elsa, es cierto. Ah, Elsa no me acuerdo. Please, yes, teacher, it. please. Yes, yes, yes. You are fan number one. You are the fan number yes. one. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Um, what about the, the, the word that you identify, Jasmine? Yes. Um, uh, you, is mm -hmm. a pronoun. Yep. Round is a verb. Regular or uh, irregular? Irregular verb. Mm -hmm. um, me is a... Object pronoun. A, a object pronoun. When and what is a WH question. Perfect, just me. Um, um, come. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a verb. Yep. It's a irregular verb. Irregular verb. Need is a regular verb. 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's that's all. Yes, a uh, very nice. Uh, just mean I like that song. That I didn't remember the name. Yes, but it's a good one. So thank you, Jasmine. Very nice. And now I'm going to check the attendance list, my friends. Recordarles que no deben de completar la encuesta de satisfacción final. Please. We're going to do it that on Tuesday. El martes vamos a hacerla por completo. Como siempre ustedes saben que nos tomamos que unos 20 minutos para completarla. Y desde ya, por favor, revisen en sus correos o en su WhatsApp donde está toda esa información para que no nos cueste y lo podamos hacer sin, ninguna, sin ningún problema. ¿okay? Me parece que van a tener otra encuesta que es la de evaluación de, del facilitador. ¿verdad? Pero la, la de... ¿Quién es nuestro facilitador, dicha? Don Gustavo. Okay. So, uh, I know that you're going to miss me. Cre sé que me van a extrañar en diciembre, por lo que me guardan para el con. I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye, my friends. So, merci. Go. Present. Thank you. Andreita. I'm here. Charlie. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Claudia. Present teacher. Ah, es Carito. Present. Maritza, thank you. Present. Elita. Good night. Good night, Ede. Present. Uh, Edgar, no. Elsa. Present teacher. Thank you, Damari. Present teacher. Helen. Present teacher. It's Kevin. Present. Manuel. I'm here. Susie. Hello. So, Jasmine. Present. And Bea. Okay, my dear Present. friend. Present. Okay, thank you, Bea. Uh, Jasmine, uh, you wait. You have like 10 minute sessions today, okay? They're just yes. uh, 10 minutes. And uh, for the rest, please, now you have an idea how to, to complete the, the home, how, uh, homework number four. Ya tiene una idea cómo completar de la tarea de los conditionals eh, el día lunes vamos a terminar de ver este tema y lo voy a voy a aclararlo todavía con, con más ejemplos pero con lo que le di pues ya tienen una idea de cómo completar ¿Okay? teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. una pregunta y ahí para completar este ponemos el primer verbo y lo separamos por una coma un espacio si I leave, al inicio de toda la oración va una coma en medio pero no creo que les pidan la coma Okay. Creo que eh, Carito me mandó un mensaje. Creo que no lo he visto todavía, Carito. I'm sorry. Lo voy a ver en un momento. ¿Verdad? Y si los demás tienen duda, ahí me escriben, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Today was a really busy day. Este día sí lo tuve, pero, sí, pero, pero, pero cualquier cosa me escribe, ¿verdad? So, okay, see you, my friends. Goodbye. See you. Bye. See you Monday. Bye, Don Gu. Salud. Bye, bye. bye. Ya llevas tres. Okay, uh, just mean. So tell me, do you want uh, to talk about any specific topic, grammar structure, vocabulary, conversation, or something that you consider you need like a feedback, a reinforcement? Creo que estás hablando con tu conciencia, because I can't hear you. I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, the gosh. Okay. So, such, 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 eso such. No, no lo logré entender muy bien. Es que a veces con la bebé no, me cuesta un poquito, yeah, pero... No, I know, I know. <laughs> It's not that easy. Sí. Uh, it was yesterday. Fue la clase de ayer, ¿verdad? Sí. Creo que sí. Here I have. Ok, eh, ya estos 10 minutos siempre se pasan bien rápido. Sí. Okay. Tenemos so y such. Debe de tener algo bien claro, Jasmine, that so goes next to or before an adjective. So siempre va de, antes de un adjetivo o de un sustantivo, pero such no. Such necesita un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Ok, por ejemplo, uh. Mark seems so unhappy. 
¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y lo otro tenemos, eh, she is such an intelligent boy. No dice, eh, she is such an intelligent. Aquí debería ser girl, pero bueno. Es como que siempre necesita eh, como un complemento más. Un complemento, that's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so here we have, she speaks. Sí, cuando hice la tarea y llegué a esa parte, me quedé un poquito perdida. Uh -huh. Ya ahí como veía que no me la agarraba, ya medio logré entender eso, pero no me había quedado todavía claro. Sí, permíteme que tengo otros ejemplos acá. I will show you the clase de and que también aquí hay este, otras. Esto. These examples are good. So uh, here we have uh, this, uh, so and such, okay? Entonces tenemos dos opciones, so many or so much. Entonces, so significa, por ejemplo, tan o muy. En cambio, some, uh, such significa tal cual, tanto así. Por eso es que es diferente. Entonces, uh -huh. ajá. Entonces, vamos a ver lo que te diga la lógica, okay? Number one, I've been to Paris. I've been to Paris uh, so, so many times. Okay. Two. He got re really drunk at the party last night and behaved like such an. Yes, such a, okay, oh, they. They used to have so much fun. Much fun together. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, yes, so much. Mm. Together, huh? No, oh, no, all they, they do is argue. Do is argue. The bar. The bar was really packed last night. There were so many people mm -hmm. there. Okay, the guitar player. The guitar player was so good. Yes. Mm. So much or so many? So many? Mm -hmm. So many students have a problem with this exam. Exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you live. Therefore, so many years. Mm -hmm. Um, that is so good idea. Mm, sería such a good idea. Such. Mm -hmm. ah. Recuérdate que so, so, so solo va a la par de una palabra. Y such, ah, pero como lleva el good. Such, ajá, such a good idea. Es lo que te decía, que necesita el ajá. complemento. Bien, Ay, vamos yeah. a ver los otros. Los otros, uh, we have some other examples that maybe can be really helpful. Let me see. Where I have it. Okay. And to finish here, solo vamos a hacer unos cuantos de estos, porque ya estamos por terminar. Okay. Pick uh, at least five. Vamos a hacer cinco de estos. Okay. Mira, tenemos so, such, such a, such an, so much. Uh, en so este much. ejercicio fue que medio me, 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 fue que me perdí. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Mm. <clears throat> Jessica is brilliant. Brilliant woman. woman. Mm -hmm. So? Vaya, si fuera sin woman, okay. sería so brilliant. Pero dice so brilliant woman. Brilliant woman. Uh, such a. Ajá. So, yes, such a. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
Mm. Cualquiera, from, from 2 to 14. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I, uh, six. Mm -hmm. I have six. Six. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. Tienes que ver todas las opciones. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Such, such. Uh, such great memories. Okay. Any other? Okay. Three more. Um. Um. Nine. Mm -hmm. It was so lovely mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Bueno, casi, casi, porque dice, it was lovely day, es un complemento. Sería such. Mm -hmm. Solo such. Mm -hmm. Such a lovely day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, four. Ok. The teacher was... Mm -hmm. So tired. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Ya viste, ¿verdad? Que solo es una palabrita. Yeah. So tired. Uh -huh. So tired. Um, mm, uh, fourteen. Uh -huh. It was so hot. Yes. That we had to open all the windows. Uh -huh. uh, ya viste, ya es bien, que normalmente so va con una palabra, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, a menos que pongas so many o so much, ¿verdad? Pero en, normalmente cuando decimos mm -hmm. such a, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, Jessica es eh, una chica, una mujer muy brillante, such a, such uh -huh. a brilliant woman. Uh -huh. Pero si di dijésemos, Jessica es so brilliant, hasta ahí, entonces ir, iría so. Ah, ok. okay. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, It's like a two. Uh, like two. Mm -hmm. Vamos, yeah. sí. ¿Qué, qué otra uh, dice? They made. Mm -hmm. They made. Such. Mm -hmm. Unforgivable mistake. Porque unforgivable es el adjetivo y mistake es el sustantivo. Yes, ¿no? Ah, ok. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Le Hoy voy. sí, ya, ya captaste. Sí, ya. Sí, uh, sí es que en esa me quedé medio perdida. Ya está, me equivoqué en la, en la que yo dije. Sí, sí, no, pero. Porque no le había entendido muy bien. Pero ya, pero ya, ya hoy sí, Ajá. Y si te sí. das cuenta en la plataforma, la, la, los, los ejercicios y los ejemplos son más prácticos, son más tranquilos. Pero me gusta sí. ponerles otros para que mmm, vayan un poquito sí, más. Sí, la verdad es que sí. Sí, es mejor así porque para... uno practica un poco más, pues. Sí, no nos quedamos con las cuestiones así solo básicas, ¿verdad? Sí, cabal. Así que excelente, me alegra. Tu pronunciación es buena, Yasmin. Tú y Eden Nelson tienen muy buen nivel, fíjate. Sigan así, sigan así, no se desanimen. Gracias. ¿Verdad? Sigan Gracias. Adelante. Sí, okay. sí, a veces nos pasa un poquito por la bebé, pero ahí vamos, nos vamos turnando. Eh, sí, pero ya vienen las vacaciones de diciembre, ahí van a estar más sí. tranquilos. Por lo menos ahí vacaciones de, de clase, de clase. Perfecto. Sí, cabal. Ok. Bueno, Yasmin, un gusto, ¿ok? So, Igual, teacher, bye. Bye, bye.